What up everybody, how's it going? Matt Sweets here, back at it again in the studio, and today we have something amazing, incredible, I cannot believe it, Netflix sent us kendamas! Stick around to the end of the video if you wanna figure out how you can win one. Netflix made their very own kendama for their new show, Eden. Now it's not a new show, I guess it came out in May, but it's a really, really cool anime about a girl who was found by robots. And they bring her, uh, they, they uh, you know, they grow her, like parents do. <laughs> and they take this baby and they grow it. What's the f***ing word? Well, how can I not think raise. of- Raise. Raise, raise. I couldn't think of raise. I just get wanted to grow children. The name of the show is Eden, and it's this little girl who's found by robots in this pod. And the robots raise her to be this big human, and she finds out she's one of the only humans in the whole world, and she has to figure out how to bring all the other humans back. And it's a very cool, long story, very beautiful. And they decided to make a kendama after the dad robot, E92. And so they made this kendama. I have not opened it. I haven't tried it out yet. The first time you're gonna see me play with it is right here live. Now I do wanna say there is not actually kendama play in the anime. It's not about kendama. It's just that the robot is an apple picking robot. So the kendama is uh, apple and then this is supposed to be the robot. The designer, his name is Natalie Nugent and she made this and I think she probably just drew from some inspiration in her life and she may have seen Kendama, probably watches our YouTube channel and decided to make a really cool rendition of the dad. So I'm excited to open it up and see what's inside. So thanks a lot Netflix for sending one over. Now, if you've watched this far, you'll know that we are gonna give one away. We're gonna be giving one of these away. Netflix gave one to us to just give away to y'all. So make sure you stick around to the end and figure out how to enter. So I had suspicion that this kendama has a hinge because there's this little space right here. But don't quite know what it's about to feel like. I don't know if it's plastic, wood, I know nothing. Looks interesting to say the least. Oh, it is literally an apple. I didn't see the apple top on the top. Now the first thing I want to do is move this hinge and see if it cranks. Oh, it doesn't. It is sturdy. I thought this, okay, it spins. But I thought for some reason that this was gonna like, no, it doesn't move at all. There is no hinge, it just kind of looks like it. But it, I didn't know it was an apple. It's full plastic. And yeah, that's just how the Serato goes on normally, just like any other Kendama. Hole drilled right through the center. It's strung lefty, fun fact. Strung, <laughs> big cup's over here, so it's strung for a lefty player. Cool. And it doesn't look like there's any bottom cup of any sort. So the bottom cup is purely gonna be a, a a bottom bevel to the base. But it does mean we'll be able to land it here and, and here potentially as if it were a handle stall. Maybe we'll get a hinge stall. Ooh, that one seems tough. But being plastic, stalls in general are gonna be tough. But let's rip this thing apart, try to lay some tricks on it. Let's see how the Netflix Eden Dama goes. What up everybody? We have the Dama. These are my first tricks as you can see. We have, uh, I'd say five, 10, 15 finger string. Sick, lefty strong, but I'm playing right-handed. I also saw that this sucker just loops around. It's not even like, as a matter of fact, this would actually make more sense to put it on this way. Now the string comes from the top like I'm used to. Let's see if I can spike the apple dama. Oh, it worked. Oh, I knew I wasn't gonna get the bottom cut first tee. I know what trick y'all wanna see me do. Ah, play item. Oh, but you can whirlwind it if you're that sweet. Let's go. Inward. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Double. Oh, just missing the double. That felt good though. Let's see, we can get some juggles in here. String though is a menace. Oh, if you can set it, you can hit it. If you can place it, you can lace it. Plastic kendama, plastic apple. <laughs> I was trying to JKA three seconds it, but I kept falling down. I couldn't do it, it was too tough. But it does lunar. I would have thought it was not lunarable before I picked it up to be completely honest. With the base cup the way it is, 
I thought for sure it wasn't going to be able to do it. But honestly, all things considered, aside from that bottom cup, it's actually pretty laceable. I can feel it. I can... <laughs> this is crazy. I can feel the spot, but you have to just completely relax. I'm trying to get it, I have to land it perfectly in the middle. What is it, the bottom? Cup? The bottom is just flat. Yeah, it, it's almost even harder with the edges and ridges that's there. But more than that, it's the bevel being so tiny. It just has almost no surface area to land on. So this is definitely harder than the needle. Because once you get it up there, it's almost like a no-hole wing until you find that one little divot. There it is, come on. Yes! Stay! Oh, I wanted the flip, that would be nasty. That's like a border flip on this, pretty much. Lighthouse, a cheap. And that is that. The Netflix Eden Kendama is epic to slay, but even cooler to put on your mantle as an epic Kendama piece. Thanks a lot, Netflix. I had such a great time playing the Eden Kendama. As a Kendama purist, there's obviously a few things that are weird, like the way it's strong or there being no bottom cup. But as a Kendama collector, it is really an amazing piece of art that I am very happy to put in my museum. I was able to lay some really crazy tricks and I would love for one of y'all to have one. So we are gonna do a giveaway. All you gotta do is go down and comment below your favorite Netflix series. Whatever your favorite series is, comment below. And if Netflix sees this, maybe we'll get another Kendama in another one of their shows. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks a lot to Netflix for sending this gear and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. What up everybody? Thanks for checking out that video. If you like what you just watched, make sure you go and kick that subscribe button and make sure you go punch that shop button and get yourself a new Dama. We have tons of other videos for you to watch, so make sure you go check them out. See you next time.